This is a real life mech suit by Exosapien Technology. And in this video, the one and only Master Chief will have a chance to actually drive it. <laughs> oh my, oh my. This is not the official recommended way to enter the mech. Okay, I think that's good to know. Hey, Chief, Chief, wake up, dude. Come on, man, gotta wake up. So today we are in Nashville, Tennessee for a convention called 3D Experience World. And that is put on by our longtime sponsor and friends at SolidWorks. Thank you, SolidWorks, for having us. People come from around the world for this convention, all in the name of 3D design. And there's actually a lot of creators that are coming. The Hacksmith's here, Exosapien, Jeremy Fielding, Kirby and Johnny from the Core Podcast, and many more that we'll meet along the way. This video is gonna be awesome. We're heading to the convention center right now. So the main the reason why we're here at 3D Experience World is to help run something called the Makerspace. Now the goal of this Makerspace is to teach other people how we make our replica props. We're going to be teaching workshops on molding and casting. I think we're going to be making a lot of helmets. They ordered like a lot of resin. <laughs> I brought a couple of Master Chief helmet molds, some of my finished helmets from previous build, and I even brought the mini Warthog to display. And since there's so many creators here, my goal is to get some of them to drive it. But first, we got to check out the mech. Oh my god. It's pretty much the coolest thing here. Hey, many warthogs here. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is like Avatar. The pictures don't do it justice. Like this thing looks like straight from the future. And this is the guy behind it all, Jonathan Tippett, our real life Tony Stark. This is prosthesis PX1 prototype powered mech suit from Exosapien Technology. You connect to the machine with your arms and legs. You're locked in. You're in a body harness. It's completely controlled by the human inside. And when the mech isn't at trade shows, its side hustle is literally crushing cars. I mean, look at this video. And for some reason, he's okay with Chief driving this. Okay. Okay. Do you think we could get this guy in? I just, I don't know if you want him in. It looks like he causes enough trouble as it is. That, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't think it's necessarily a good idea to do with all of these people around. Yeah, I'm sure you've got some natural talent. Once the crowd's clear, why don't you come by when we're doing load up and you can bring it back to life. Assuming his Mjolnir armor there fits in. <laughs> all right, you heard the man. We're going to wait for the end of this convention for Chief to drive the mech. For sure, it's going to be a ride. But in the meantime, <laughs> we've got some plans. Wait, wait, hold on. Is that the hacksmith I see? How's it going? Finally, you need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got to be honest. I definitely fanboyed when I met James and Ben from the Hacksmith. And of course, I would love that Hacksmith seal of approval on the mini Warthog. So I invited Ben to drive it. I don't know, it's don't terrifying. Know but I feel like even putting your legs like back here. Oh my god. I can't fit that way. Absolutely not. Now it's against the rules to drive the mini Warthog in the convention center. So like a good good boy, I asked security if I could drive it out back. And then <laughs> this happened. Well, Caleb, I feel like we can't go to places like this without some sort of controversy. Brad, why, why are you walking out of the convention center right now? Well, because I asked for permission, they said no, Brad. You actually can't even have this in the place. So we're on the way back to get the truck to pick up the mini Warthog. And up the mini Warthog because we got kicked out of the conference. And with the hopes of changing his mind, I asked the head of security this. What if you drove? I really appreciate it. <laughs> That'd be fun. Say goodbye to the mini warthog. You know, it's a sad day to be a warthog. It looked good on you. Uh, it's so bad on me. There's only one thing missing, your head being. Oh, oh no. Dang it, that would have been awesome. Oh well, I guess it's your turn, Ben. <laughs> Any last words? I'm gonna die doing what I love anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I've driven racing go-karts before. Okay. It's the same thing. It's scarier. <laughs> well, I consider that a win in my book. Okay. Glad you didn't die. This space feels so empty without the mini warthog. And to help distract ourselves from this great travesty, it's time to do something really, really cool. All right, so I brought my Master Chief helmet mold here. We're about to cast a Master Chief helmet, but it's not an ordinary Master Chief helmet. Once it's cast, we're going to cover it in real carbon fiber. Thanks to my buddy Christian Bag from Bowhead. It's kind of like paper mache for adults, really. I mean, what's cooler than that? Oh, Need a lot of black on this one. No, don't look at me like that. It's hour 63. <laughs> I'm working on my abstract art piece of resin on ground. You might see a lot of tutorials online of maybe put this on a machine so you don't have to do it. I prefer to do manual labor because. So here's what we do. We stick our hands out like this and we hate ourselves. I have a headache. <laughs> but in most cases, hard work pays off. And this time it definitely did. With the helmet casted, it's time for carbon fiber. Just you wait. With the help of Will and Jeremy Fielding, Christian got to work, laying the carbon fiber piece by piece on the helmet. It's so working. And once the pieces are in the right place, the helmet goes in a vacuum seal bag that uses suction to form the carbon fiber to the helmet. Didn't crush it. And my God, is that satisfying. And scary, what's happening here? I looked at it, I was like, hey, is that supposed to be doing that? There was multiple of us. <laughs> what you're seeing right now happened over the course of three days. We applied three different layers of carbon fiber to encapsulate the helmet. It's not terribly complicated. It's just learning the little tips and tricks in between. And while the final layer came we got pulled away to be a part of something uh, horrific. Hi, I'm Brad from Impact Pro. <laughs> He's gonna put that in. Kirby and Johnny from the Core Podcast invited 
invited me to do the Hot Ones Challenge live on their podcast. Yay, so exciting. I'm gonna go die now. Let's add another layer to this. Yeah. No agua? No water, let's do it. You can find the full video of the podcast in my description <laughs> if you wanna see me die. <laughs> I, I really thought I was gonna throw up. Oh my God, really? It sucks. But that's not even the crazy part. The craziest part is what Caleb did next with the hottest hot sauce on the lineup. Oh my God, don't do it, no, oh my God. <laughs> Ah, chest. Woo! This is the face of a man with two million Scoville running through his veins. That hot sauce put me on my knees. I'm not used to that. And you're not used to that either. My tongue is like numb. Now. Your other hand's gonna feel it later. Yeah, I hope I don't throw it up first though. Uh, now that I went through that, I feel like I'm a stronger person. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Caleb. Way to make lemonade out of some lemons. Anyway, on our way back to the makerspace, we ran into an opportunity to turn the one and only Master Chief into an actual 3D model with the help of our friends at Digitized Design. We got a bunch of different 3D scanners here. Nice. Oh yeah, my god, be careful. You guys don't know how expensive they really are. 35k in your hand. How's it feel? This model turned out fantastic. That is gonna turn out so well. And if you check out our description, there's a link where you can download it for free. So go 3D print it or put it in your own video game. Whatever you do, we'd love to see it. So make sure you tag us on Instagram when you do. That was an experience. <laughs> All right, so let's check in on the carbon fiber helmet. The carbon fiber helmet is done. It's not the most beautiful carbon fiber helmet yet. Some sanding and then brush on a little layer of epoxy and it'll be beautiful. And don't you worry, I'm pretty good at sanding. I'll make it good. Jeremy, you helped with that. Yes. Good job. Well, thank you. I'm glad you are pretending to think so. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point in the video, 3D Experience World is coming to a close. And even though that's sad, that also means that Chief is about to drive the map. But before we do that, it is time to thank the sponsor of this video, SolidWorks. First for bringing us out to this convention, and second for creating a software specifically designed for makers like you and me. As you know, I've been using SolidWorks for many, many years to bring my designs to life both as an engineer and as a maker. I learned how to 3D model on SolidWorks back in college and I used it in the industry. And now that I'm doing YouTube, I still use SolidWorks. But the industry version of SolidWorks is is way out of my price range as a maker. I mean, I get it. Excellence is expensive, but now it doesn't have to be. SolidWorks has repackaged their industry-leading software into an offer for makers. This offer is called 3D Experience SolidWorks for Makers. This software delivers top-of-the-line design tools for your hobbies and personal projects, online tools for designing, fabricating, rendering, and more. For just $9.99 a month, you'll get everything you need to create anything that you can imagine. So if you're a builder and you want to get into 3D modeling, 3D Experience SolidWorks for Makers is right for you. This offer is the real deal, and if you check out the link in my description, you'll get an additional 20% off 3D Experience SolidWorks for Makers. Thanks again to SolidWorks for sponsoring this video. <laughs> We're about to do something awesome. All right, the time is finally here. So after looking at his mech all week, it is finally time for Chief to drive it. <laughs> I'm always a little hesitant anytime I put someone else in the machine, least of all a maniac like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta unlock it first, which will mean me getting in, firing it up. Once the machine is checked out, I'll let this guy get in. <laughs> I've seen the videos. I know in theory how it moves. It just has a presence in person, man. Stand back, man. <laughs> that has got to be the coolest thing ever. Never gets old. The adrenaline always comes. All right. So I guess we should do this now. <laughs> Thank you for uh, allowing this to happen. Oh, it's my pleasure. Yeah, my I pleasure. hope it is your pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's going to fit really oh, wide around the shoulders yeah. here. We know you can get up there, but I think we might have to strip down a little bit of the bulk here, champ. You think we could talk you out of some of your armor? Wait, 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 wait. Time to strip down, big boy. This never happens, but it's worth it. <laughs> Is that gonna work? We gotta go full skivvy. You're not gonna be able to squeeze those legs in there, man. You gotta want it. The lace is not undone. Pull harder. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we got him in beach mode. <laughs> All right, enough shenanigans. It's time for Chief to enter the mech. And even though he took off most of his armor, it was still an extremely tight fit to get him in the pilot seat. But eventually, we got him in there. <laughs> There's nothing stopping this. I think we're ready, huh? All right. Please take it easy. All right, Chief, you're strapped in, locked in. This is literally you move and it moves. I'll give you the thumbs up and you pull that trigger, the mech will be in your hands. John, I feel like we should say a little prayer or something. <laughs> How worried are you that he's gonna break it? How do you tell an amateur not to screw up? Uh, do your best. <laughs> do your very best. <laughs> you got this, buddy. Okay, we got a rookie in the mech. Rookie in the mech, folks. Stand back. Elbows. Bend your elbows. He's just going straight for the stand. He can just go straight for the stand if he wants. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Woo! 
Yeah. I'm afraid he's gonna start walking now. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and then just the arms, yeah. Keep your legs, legs straight. That's it. He's killing it, man. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is normally like lesson three. Hey man, thank you for not killing everybody. <laughs> that is something else. That was awesome. Futuristic super soldiers, good mech pilot. Makes a lot of sense. Thanks. I would probably quit while we're ahead. <laughs> Wish we were out in the desert or something so we could just let them go hey, on it, you know? I mean, that could be another video. Yeah. Eh, comment. What an incredible experience it was to see this mech in action. And also have Chief not break it, yay. I'd say mission accomplished. You did pretty good. It must be all the Warthog driving. <laughs> so Jonathan, where can we find you, buddy old pal? Exosapien.tech, that's right. where it's all at. Make sure to check Jonathan's stuff out. He makes some incredible stuff and he's got some new stuff that's about to come out that I would say is probably even cooler than this. I never thought in a million years the Master Chief would pilot the next suit. <laughs> the universe is colliding. Who knows what this will beget in the future. Yeah, Thanks nice for having us. Oh, God. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, video's over. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> and you are my best friend forever. You are here for oh me God. and I am yeah. here for you.